All right, we have one of the all-time biggest dirt bags in college basketball history with another dirt big moment. Rick Pitino took zero accountability in his press conference after the Scene Hall game, blaming all the team's failures on his players' physical limitations rather than taking any accountability for himself. And he was loathing, saying, this is the most unenjoyable season he's ever had. Well, what I can't stand about this is, yes, it's obviously a snake move for Pitino to point out his players' physical limitations, saying how laterally slow they are. Um, but... Doing it for a fifth-year senior like Joel Soriano, who has a future in this game, playing playing professionally, probably overseas and making a good amount of money doing it, but Patino puts his flaws and his physical limitations out into the spotlight. He took money out of his players' pockets. As a coach, you want to put your players in the best light possible to set them up for success. Chris Ledlam is another guy who solid basketball player, but Patino said, yeah, he's physically slow, or he's laterally slow. And he's even blaming guys who are playing under 10 minutes per game. Yeah, fifth-year senior Sean Conway transferred from VMI, who Patino brought in. First off, if this guy's so laterally slow, why the hell did you bring him in? I don't care if it's last minute. You had the film. You could have went in a different direction. So he's blaming Sean Conway, saying, oh yeah, that guy who's barely getting off the bench, he's really slow. And he blamed another guy who's averaging six minutes per game. Clown behavior, snake behavior, weasel behavior from Rick Pitino to be expected. And he said he wanted to bring AJ Storr back to St. John's. I mean, AJ Storr is an outspoken man of God. He's never going to be coming to St. John's. Uh, who would want to send their kid to play for St. John's? Uh, the Saint, Pitino's the kind of guy who is a married man, shows up to a kid's birthday party and hooks up with the kid's mom. Uh, he's the kind of guy who, who he didn't know about this, who's assistant uh, set up a bunch of minors and high school players on recruiting trips with prostitutes and strippers. I mean, he's a real honorable guy, a great father figure, great role model, great mentor for your 18 to 22 year old kid. Um, yeah, just not surprising. Patino, he's a dirtbag. We all know this. And St. John theoretically could have went on a run to finish the season. It could have made the NCAA turn, but you could throw that out the window. Patino's throwing in the towel. He's trying to clear house. And if you want to clear house, I understand that. Do it internally. Don't put all your players' physical limitations out into the spotlight. Just, it's disappointing, but did no good for anybody. And that's all I got for you. Patino is a clown. If you want more college basketball content, make sure to subscribe. And I'll see you next time.